Nurse, it is time to ready our patient for surgery. Right away, Herr Doctor. Do not worry, sweetheart. You are in excellent hands. Patient is an FDL 2X with 2V extension, fresh from the battles of Enwar. We're going to have to reduce the weight and reduce the size and prepare them for the Atomic Dart League. Let's begin. My god, I think we've done it. It's ready, Doctor. Okay, so all theatrics aside, I have made a relatively large change to my FDL-2X. Now at NWAR 2018, I was running the FDL-2X with 2V body kit, which gave me the nice extended barrel and the piece here that gives me two side Picatinny rails and the lower one where I had a vertical foregrip. I've got the ammo counter muzzle brake right here that houses the IR counter or IR beam collar and that nice long barrel with a full tack rail. Really, really sweet. Also really kind of heavy in comparison to the smaller FDL. I remember I was in Project FDL shop and I picked up his personal Franken FDL and I was like, wow, it's really lightweight. You probably don't even have a battery in it. He did. I've just gotten so used to how heavy mine was. So the big change I made was I got it smaller again. Now this resembles a lot of how my 2017 FDL2 Plus looked. You know, again, the relatively small body without the long rail. Of course, there are some really important differences between then and now. Of course, I'm rocking the FDL2X with the OLED screen and all the onboard changes you know, available, super helpful. But the other nice thing is I've got this really cool custom 3D printed IR beam, um, I guess a muzzle brake again, uh, from my friend Crow. Now he did put my TK1138 and Imperial Insignia on there. I've already blacked it out so it makes it nice and easy for the IR beam, doesn't get interfered with by UV light, and makes it a much smaller, much lighter blaster. Why am I trying to go smaller? I'll get to that. But the other really cool thing, and the thing that actually kept me from switching from the FDL2V back to the original body kit, was here you see we have all that Picatinny rail. Super great for lights and for my ammo counter. Now that's where Crow works some really awesome magic. He gave me this just before, like literally the day we left for uh, NWAR. But it's a, a new piece that he designed for the FDL2. Now, mine of course has the uh, Imperial Insignia because Crow was really awesome and made me some parts with my Insignia and name on it, super awesome. But the, like getting down to the function of this part, it's, it takes the place of that small Picatinny rail here and the two little wire covers and gives you three Picatinny rails. It's also really, really robust and has a little bit of a lip right here to help get your pieces a bit farther out to account for the, uh, the change in the body width. Now, why is that so important? it's a perfect fit for my ammo counter. So now I can be standing there and my ammo counter is right where I want to see it and gives me this nice small size but gives me the, the usability of having all that Picatinny rail. So it's really exciting. Uh, Crow is part of the FDL user group and I believe he's actually talking with Project FDL about making parts like this available to other users which would be really really awesome because there's a whole bunch of options available for the 2v kit but having like a really nice piece and that adds more function of functionality that's the right word to the original body kit is great so why am i slimming down it's for my uh, my feminine physique uh no well i mean i am also working out to, to get a smaller hitbox but that's precisely it the smaller hitbox now, you'll notice I'm wearing my Atomic Dart League jersey, number 38, you know, TK1138, right. So, the Atomic Dart League's Ion Rush, which is the game we played at FoamCon, was a lot of fun. But even more intense than FoamCon was Atomic Zero, which was the game just before FoamCon that we played on the indoor soccer field. Now, we play with 250 FPS, short darts, it's, it's really intense. But what I noticed was with my 2V kit, it was a lot of weight, it was really long, and I was like, I really want to get it smaller for Atomic because, you know, it's only 50 darts. You're, you're, you're not wearing a loadout. You're really lightweight. You're running for cover. It's important. 
So I told Jesse that I wanted to go down to a smaller one and now I've got a really nice compact one which will be perfect for Atomic. Especially because in one week from now is going to be Atomic number one, which is the official opening of Ion Rush, where we're actually going to be recording player stats. Really, really exciting. So, definitely stay tuned for more footage of that. So, when I did mention we had the 250 FPS and short darts, I also built a custom long shot specifically for the Atomic Dart League. Now, some of you might have seen me post this on the TK1138 Facebook page, but this is my Atomic long shot. Featuring, of course, the Atomic logo and custom parts by Reciprocation Props, including the 3D printed top rail, the name plates, as well as the spacer and internal pieces for the long shot to, the, to make it stronger, the reinforcements. Thanks. You'll also notice that it is running Katana Mags. Um, I've had a lot of fun with this. I've also got a uh, 3D printed scar barrel that has made this thing really, really fun, and I'm looking forward to running it in Atomic as well. Of course, you can see the atomic black and yellow, black and yellow. It's sharp and I'm really excited about it. But if you like these blasters, I do have one last piece of good news. And that is, if you looked at the number of subscribers I have, I'm within 100 of 2,000. Close to 2K. Yeah, I was like 100 of 2,000. Sounds kind of weird. But I'm really, really close to 2K subscribers and that is mind-blowing because one year ago, like, just before I left for NWAR 2017, I did my 501st subscriber giveaway. Um, here we are again, doing another giveaway to get that push to 2K. So, if you want to, actually, I should probably just tell you what we're doing. So, I am give, there is a giveaway, of course, to do it. And so, what I have here is my Mark II strong arm. Now, this one was dutifully sanded to make it nice and smooth, got rid of all the digicam, made nice clean lines, nice smooth top, and it does feature the Stage 2 Orange Mod Works kit for this as well, and it is a truly nice, really robust, really reliable sidearm. That does, of course, come with the Apex Tactical Solutions right hand drop leg holster to go with it. So, the winner of this giveaway will be getting this blaster shipped anywhere. Uh, well, wherever you are, I'll ship this thing to you if you get chosen. Now, how is that going to work? Easy. All you have to do is like this video and comment down below your favorite moment from my channel. I know that seems a little bit egotistical, but I'm genuinely curious. I've asked you guys a lot of questions on my TK1138 Facebook page about what you want to see, and that has directly impacted how my channel functions. So here's another moment. Tell me what what your favorite video was or what about it made it your favorite, you know, was it NWAR footage, was it a review, was it SCNC, was it Atomic? I hope it was Atomic, because I love Atomic, it's my favorite to actually film. But anyway, all you gotta do is comment down below your favorite moment and like this video. It'd be really, really cool of why you're doing this, that you share the video, just to get more people. Again, the whole point of this is to get to 2K subscribers, 2K, like Roman numeral, 2. Um, so I'm really, really hoping we make it there. I do want to give one more quick shout out to my friend Mac, who got me a really new, uh, really cool GoPro session. Now, that's great because any of you guys who saw my Atomic footage will understand why I was disappointed in the audio quality. I cheaped out. Don't do that. And then I cheaped out and I got a cheap little 4K action cam, horrible microphone. None of my audio is usable, pretty much. So I've had to like practically mute it. But this new session is awesome and it's going to be perfect for Atomic. Anyway, sorry, I got really excited. I talk about Atomic and I just get so excited. Anyway, like I said, if you're interested in entering for a chance to win the TK Strong Arm with Drop Leg Holster from Apex Tactical, all you have to do is like and comment down below. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up because I want to finish unpacking and getting stuff ready for Atomic Dart League in one week. Definitely stay tuned for that. This has been TK1138. Nerf well, my friends.